and this is what our blank post is going to look like we have a place for the title and then down here is where we're going to put all the content and right here on the right is going to be the sidebar for our post and if you click this button right here you can make it disappear so if it ever disappears you can click this again and you can show it and then if we scroll down here you'll see all the different things that are on the sidebar here like the permalink settings where we can switch the link we can decide what we want our link to be called and then also our categories which we'll get into we'll create categories for our site and then tags right here this is basically just going to show google and other search engines what our post is about and i'll also get into those and then if we keep going down we got our featured image right here and basically what this is it's just going to be the main image for this specific post and then there's also a block section which we'll get more into in a little bit so what i'm going to do now is create an example post for you guys so you can just see how everything works so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to add my title for my first article. And since this is a traveling website, I'm going to name my first article my top five favorite national parks. And then down here, like I said before, is where we're going to add our content. And I have some ready to go already, actually. So what I'm going to do is just paste it in right here. Just very simple text. And now I'm just going to make a couple changes and show you guys a few basic things. I'm going to switch the size of this right here. And I'm going to put this down to H3, heading 3, so it's a little smaller. And then I'm also going to bold it. And then I'm going to go down here and do the same thing to this one. Okay, now I just finished the last one here and then I'm going to go back up and I'm going to add a little bit of space between all these right here. So first I'm going to put some space in between this and this is where we're going to get into the blocks. And if you see these little buttons right here, like this and like this, you'll notice if you just go down and you just put your mouse there, they'll just automatically pop up. And so I'm going to click on this. And what I'm going to search for is called spacer and I'm going to click on that. And this is just going to give you some space in between your text. And over here is where you decide how much space you want. So just for this right here, I'm going to put this down to 10 actually. And then we got 10 pixels of space between that and then the actual content. And then I'm going to come down here and on this one, I'm going to add a little more space. So I'm going to put this one to 25. Okay, as you can see, there's a little bit of a difference there. And do the same thing for this one, 10 here. And 25 here again. And then I'm going to do that for the rest of these ones too. Okay, so I just finished doing that. And another thing I wanted to show you guys too is if you're ever in the middle of a post and you just want to save it but you don't actually want to publish it and put it out all you have to do is come up here and click on save draft and then once you go to that post again it'll all be saved but it won't actually be published until you click the publish button here now the next thing i want to go over is how to put photos in your post and if you guys need any free photos any stock free images rather you can go to pixabay.com or here's another one called pexels.com. They have thousands of free stock photos you guys can use all for free. And that's actually where I got my images that I'm about to upload to this post right here. Now there's a few ways we can do this. If you go down here and click on this block and then you look up image, you'll see right here, you can just select an image and you can upload images or you can select them from your media library or you can insert from a URL and once you upload images they're automatically going to be put inside your media library so you could upload them each individually or you could do this which is go over here to media and you can go to your library right here and you can click on add new and you can select all the files that you want to just show up in your media library. And so all you have to do is go to wherever you saved your images, usually in downloads, 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all these images right here that I'm going to be putting in this post. And I'm just going to click on open. And as you can see right here, all of them are going to be uploaded. And now those are in my media library. So if I go back over here, actually, I'm going to click on save draft first. And then I'm going to refresh this page. And I'm going to scroll back down here and click on media library. And there's all my pictures right here. And so I'm just going to select the image that I want for that. And then after that, click select. And you'll see it will pop up right here. And if you click on the image and then scroll down, you can do a few different things. You can change the size of it by going like this, clicking these. I'm going to set it to, I think I'm going to set it to 75. And if you guys want to describe the image, you can just put it in right here. Like for example, this one, I would just type in Yellowstone. If you go up here, you can also click this and it will make the image rounded. Or you can just keep it default. I'm going to keep it default. Then I'm going to add a little bit of space in between that. Got my image and you can also go here and you can center it. Which I'm going to do right there. And then also if you guys ever want to make this image clickable so when people click on it it will send them to a different link you just make sure the image is selected and you click on this insert link right here and then you just paste your url in right here and then you click on the apply button and then anytime someone clicks that image it will take them to whatever link you put that you put in right here and then also if you want to write a caption down here could put in Yellowstone and that will be a caption right under it if you guys want to label it now I'm just going to go through and I'm going to add the rest of the images down for these other ones right here okay so now I just finished adding in my last image here and I'm going to go back up and what we're going to do now is add our featured image for this post and this is going to be the same way that we upload any images like these right here. It's the same thing. You just click on this. And then once you have it in your media library, or like I said before, you can just upload it. You just select your image, click set featured image, and that's it. And while you guys are working on your site, if you ever want to see your progress or just check out your post, all you have to do is click on preview and then click on this preview and new tab button and that will show you exactly what your post is going to look like so far and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a tag or some tags for this specific post here and usually what tags are just basically like I've said earlier in the video shows uh, search engines what this specific post is about so for example this one's called my top five favorite national parks I'm actually going to add that in right there and then you can, as it says right here, separate with commas or hit the enter key. I'm just going to hit enter and that's going to add that as a tag. So something else you might want to put, like for this one, I might just put in national parks or best national parks, stuff like that, that just basically describes your post here. And I'd recommend probably adding about maybe one to five different tags if you guys want to. Now we're going to add some categories to our website. And basically what this is for is just to categorize different posts that we might be writing about. So maybe in one post I'm talking about travel or the next post I'm talking about food. This way we'd be able to separate them into the respective categories. And if we go over here on our right sidebar, you'll see there's only one category right now. And this is the default one that WordPress puts in and it's the uncategorized category. So what we need to do is click on this add new category button. And this right here is where we're going to add them. So it's going to be different for everybody's website. What I would recommend is just go and check out similar websites to the one that you're trying to create and see what they're doing for their categories. And then we're also going to be using some of these categories here as our menu for the top of our website. So I'm just going to add a few of them. And the first one I'm going to do is destinations. And after you put it in right there, all you have to do is click on add new category. And then there it is right there. 
And now I'm going to add another one and put it as food. And now if you look down here, you'll see a parent category. And basically what that means is if you guys were talking about food in your post, but you wanted to, maybe you wanted to separate it by chicken or beef or anything like that, different types of food, you could go down here where it says parent category after you add your main category and say I typed in chicken right here. If I wanted that to be under this main food category, I'd go under the parent category and then I just select food. And so under the food category would be a separate parent category called chicken. So if I did that, you'll see that right there. So say you were writing about food, but your specific post was about chicken recipes or something like that. You would just go and create this parent category and then you could put it under this specific category. And you can add as many categories as you want depending on the type of website you're making. So what I'm going to do is just add a few more and then I'll be back. Okay, so I just added the rest of those categories and now I'm just going to choose which category that I want this specific post here to be under. And so I'm going to get rid of all these right here. And I'm just going to keep it under destinations. And you guys can put each post under multiple categories or just a single category. But for this one, I feel like I'm just going to keep it under destinations. And then I'm going to go up here and click on save draft again. Now we pretty much covered most of the stuff on the post section here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over some more block category stuff. So if we click on add block right here and you go over here down here to browse all, you're going to notice a bunch of different things here if you scroll down. And I recommend just going through these things and just checking each one of them out because it could be beneficial to your website and it might be a good idea to use it. So we're just going to keep scrolling down and taking a look at some different stuff. This is how you create a button. So if we click on this, and then here's your button right here. You could type in, click here. And then so if you maybe wanted to send somebody to a link, you would just go and select this. And then you would paste your link in right here. And then click on submit. And then again, if this disappears over here, your sidebar, you can click on that. Then you'll notice some different things right here. You can click outline. You can have it fill. If you guys want to change the color settings on it, can switch the text, switch the background color to blue if you want, or any other color. Get the border radius, switches it up like that. Width settings, if you want it really long, you want to keep it shorter like that. You can also add your link in right there. Another thing I wanted to show you too is if you highlight your text right here, say you want to change your color of the text or the background, if you go over here to the sidebar, once it's under block, you can click on color settings. You can switch the color of that. That'll change the text to green if you want. Or say you want to keep it that color, but then put a background under it just to highlight it. You guys can do that too. If you want to get rid of it, click clear, clear. That'll bring it back to the original color. You can also click on this little arrow right here and you can click on text color and change that. Or if you want to strike through some text, you can click on that. And now if we go back over to the block settings and click on browse all, we can continue scrolling down here. Check out some more of these. You guys can add social icons in right there. Also, another one here is a YouTube video. If you guys want to embed a YouTube video in your post, it's really simple. All you do is just click on this here and you go and you grab your URL from YouTube and you would just paste it in right here like that and then click on embed. And then right there you have your YouTube video. It'll pop up. You can also do whatever you want. Just click on center, full width, anything like that. And sometimes it's just good to add in some, you know, YouTube videos or anything like that, just to add some extra stuff to your post. And then if we keep scrolling down here, you'll notice there's a few more things. You guys can add a TikTok video if you want. And most of these are really self-explanatory. So if you just click on them, don't be afraid to click on them because for the most part, they're going to be really simple. Like you just add in a link or something else like that and it's going to make it work. 
Now that should pretty much do it for the block section. And one more small thing I wanted to mention to you guys was if you have some text that you want to be clickable and have it go to a link when somebody clicks it, all you would do is same thing as pretty much linking to anything else. You'd highlight what you want there, click the link, enter your URL here, and then that text right there is now a clickable link.